Hi, my name is Mike Foley. I work in the vSphere tech marketing team. I am a senior technical marketing architect for vSphere security. Today we're going to talk about Windows 10 and Windows 2016 security feature support that has been added in our new release, vSphere 6.7. Now, typically people won't ask for security feature support. Your InfoSec person would be asking for support for Credential Guard. This meets that need. So first, what we're going to talk about is how, does, how do those features work with a physical environment and then how they work in a virtualized environment. So typically, you'll have a Windows 10 VM or Windows 2016 server and that is installed on the bare metal hardware. On that bare metal hardware will be a TPM chip. When you enable virtualization based security within Windows 10, that then, let me just quickly erase here, that then changes Windows 10 from booting directly from the hardware to booting the Microsoft hypervisor. So, in essence, Windows 10 is running as a virtual machine running on top of the Microsoft hypervisor. So when we move to a virtualized environment, we introduce a whole bunch of different challenges. So we have the server hardware, On top of that, we run ESXi. Now, to duplicate this physical environment in the virtualized world, what ends up happening is when you enable virtualization-based security support within vCenter for that virtual machine, that virtual machine is now booting the Microsoft hypervisor, which then boots Windows 10. Now, just like in the physical world, if I go back over here, when I enable virtualization-based security, what also boots on the Windows hypervisor is the credential subsystem. You might want to consider that as a, a, it's using virtualization to isolate the credential subsystem from Windows 10. That solves the pass the hash exploit. So here, we're also booting the credential subsystem. So in essence, what we have here is a nested virtual machine. It's a hypervisor, booting a hypervisor, booting a virtual machine. Now in order to do that, we have to expose nested virtualization. We have to expose IOMMU. And we have to expose a number of other features or set a number of features. So we will turn on EFI firmware. We will turn on secure boot. And if we so choose, we will allow the use of a virtualized trusted platform module, so a VTPM. So this virtual machine now gets a VTPM exposed to it. In a other video, we'll talk about the VTPM in a little bit more detail. The VTPM does not map or chain to the hardware TPM. So what we've done here is provided the virtual hardware support in order to enable the guest operating system security features. I hope this was helpful in explaining how this all works. And you, if you go to uh, our blogs, you'll find more information soon. Thanks. 
Okay, so you've just gotten a lot of information on vSphere 6.7. There's even more information at blogs.vmware.com slash vSphere and also vSphereCentral.vmware.com. Thank you.